What is up everybody, welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch, and yes, it's been some time, but like I said, if you're keeping up with my videos, however sporadic they are, school's almost over, I got about after this uh, Thanksgiving, uh, you know, weekend coming up, I have about two weeks left in the semester, got a week's worth of finals, and then we're done. And then it's like two straight months of just, you know, do whatever the hell I want. So bear with me until then, and uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. So starting off is going to be our update video for this last, you know, last night's uh, update. So I didn't make an update video last week uh, just because it was only Guy. Yeah, I guess he's pretty important, but it's like, you know, okay, he's here now. So Blazing Festival, uh, Might Guy is the new character, a new Blazing Fest. So he's not a Blazing Bash, he's just a Blazing Fest unit, and he's... He's cool, but he's not anything like, like broken. You know what I mean? Like, usually the blazing fests are have some sort of nuts in them. But he's definitely not bad. Like, I think he's worthy of being a blazing fest, just a little bit under tuned. That's just my opinion, you know. So let's take a look at him. So my guy. 708 health, 2800 strength, the highest strength on any character pre-limit break, right? So he's has that, you know, his stats are specifically there to represent Night Guy, this glass cannon. So he definitely, you know, those are really good. Now let's check out the first jutsu, 5.5 times attack in body to one enemy and knocks them back. Reduces own HP by 15%. So, Sekizo. Animation's pretty nice. Now, as uh, we'll take a look at the next one, and then I'll talk really quickly, just a brief little thing on why he's not that, you know, as amazing as he, you know, you might want him to be or think he is. Oh, but that animation. Yeah, that is definitely worth it. 14 times attack in body to one enemy, ignores their substitution, removes their barrier, perfect dodge, and knocks them back, reduces own HP by 35. Now, what I'm going to, what I was about to say is that, and then also all of his um, dupe abilities are boost attacks, so he has, what is that, 700? Yeah, plus 700 he can go in uh, attack, so that'll put him at 3500, and then with the you know, 100 from pills, he'll be at 3,600 attack. So he does damage, you know, like, he definitely does damage. <laughs> now, as we, you know, check, take a look at the banner, uh, the reason he's not as good is because he reduces so much HP. Now, what, why it's that big of a deal is because HP is a pooled stat in this game, so it's not like... It's not like, okay, if you reduce, what the heck is this, whoa, 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 my game's glitching out or something? That is definitely not how it should look like, but, uh, okay. So, you know, HP is a pooled stat in this game, so you're gonna have like 10,000 HP, and it doesn't matter if my guy only has 700, right? The 15% you lose is coming out of that 10k HP, so you're losing 1500 of your HP. Or if in 35, you're losing almost 4,000 HP from using his ultimate. And if you don't win right then and there, uh, that's a big deal. All right? Assuming This is all assuming uh, if you're at full health. Let me let me just double check if it's current or max. It says reduces own HP by 15%. The way it's written, I'm going to assume it is uh, current HP. So if it's max HP, that'd be absolutely garbage. So like I said, like if the stats were separate, like they are in uh, like PvP, uh, he would be significantly better, right? Because if he's reducing his HP by 35% and he has 700, he's going from like 700 to like 500. That's a difference of 200. No one cares, right? And that can literally be healed up by a field heal. So uh, the fact that it's pulled uh, makes him a lot worse. But by no means is he bad. Like, he still has stupid amounts of damage, right? If we... Uh, this is not supposed to be a review, so I'm just going, going over that really quickly. Uh, I'll move on as we go on. I wanted to show you the summon levels. But... Uh, 
I don't know why it's not. Maybe I can. Oh, I, I don't know what the hell this is. Okay. I, I wanted to. Oh, well. Okay. I don't really care. I wanted to see stuff. So here it is, you know, 40, 40, 50, 25. Uh, three times rate for my guy summon level 5, 6 is guaranteed, and then, you know, so on and so on. Uh, the pool of characters is pretty good, right? The fact that Sage Mode Naruto, um, Sage Mode Naruto and Utakata are featured, are two very valuable units. Kazekage Gara is not bad by any means. Pain is kind of just, you know, average. He's not good. He's not, as he's good, he's not amazing. He's not bad. Uh, and then, you know, Mike Guy is a featured character. The thing is with Mike Guy, he's pretty iconic. And that alone makes people want to pull for him, and uh, I will be pulling for him, uh, just for that reason alone, you know, regardless of how good or not he is, I kind of want him just because his art is so nice, and, uh, you know, I don't think he's going to get a, a remake character in a long time, so I kind of want this one. So that's really it, so I am pulling for him. Now, there's not really much else new on here. The other thing is uh, the raid, is uh, Gengetsu... Uh... Ozuki, Mist Over Darkness, and I can't even check that out. Jesus Christ, that makes me feel so sad. Uh, uh, we can just check from here. Okay, so let me take a look at this stuff. Alright. This one I'm not going to go too much over. Alright, you can kind of just take a look, because he is in the patch now, so you can take a look. 5 times attack to 1 enemy knocks him back, 40% chance of attack reduction. 10 times attack towards all enemies in range, 60% chance of slip damage for 5 turns, while gaining two perfect while gaining perfect dodge against 2 attacks for 2 turns. Uh, you know, and then he has three, 3 dodge abilities, and attack reduction by 10%, boost slip damage rate by 10%. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. So that's really the big things, and the last thing I wanted to go over before we hop on uh, JP is the Black Friday sale. So all it says is that, you know, Two, you're going to be able to purchase the 90 bundle set uh, twice on sale. So if you go here, I don't know if it's up yet. No, I don't think it's up yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no difference. So I'm pretty sure this Friday it'll, it'll, it'll be different. Uh, Thursday, Friday, whatever. So that's really it. Now, if you hop over to the JP side of things, uh, actually, since he's, his picture's right there. I don't know why I clicked that. Actually, you can't really check from here. So, on JP, what I was going to show was the Phantom Castle, which features a Yamato, who has, um, he's not horrible, you know? He's definitely not horrible. Uh, his stats are pretty garbage, I'm not gonna lie about that. Uh, long range, those are his stats. Uh, first Jutsu, 60% chance of uh, immobilizing for 5 turns and absolutely nothing else. I guess it's going to click on it. That's fine by me. And then the ultimate ability is... Is... Is a 14 times attack in body towards one enemy, 50% chance of immobilization for two turns. So all of his dupe abilities are uh, damage reduced by 5%. Actually, the last one is 10%. So it's a total of 30% damage reduction with his field and body skill both being reduced as damage taken. So even if you're not using him at all, he's not bad to kind of just toss in your team. Uh, you know, for the damage reduction, uh, he makes your team a little bit more tanky, but it works both ways because he's has low stats himself so you know like okay you're bringing someone who's weak but makes your team stronger like i don't know hard to kind of like contradicts himself if he had like 400 more hp 300 more attack he'd definitely be solid but the problem is with these phantom castle units they're hit or miss and mostly they're miss right like they almost never are good and then here we have, if you go to the summons, we have Sasuke Uchiha from the swimsuit set, or, you know, the, uh, you know, the swimwear stuff that's going on, uh, the Sakura's been out, and the Naruto we get from summon, not summons, from daily logins, so this is the Sasuke, and he's the only one in this, and let's see, his banner is, it's three steps, third step is guaranteed Sasuke, and it goes 30, 40, 50. Now, and you got five, five attempts at this. 
So his character is, uh, let's see, can I go here? 1062 HP, 1590 attack long range. Uh, field and buddy skill are solid. Boost skill, uh, boost attack of skill units by 150 to 300. Boost attack of skill units by 300. So the fact that he is a skill unit and he has this ability is really meaningful. So if you're going for those skill only, uh, you know he'll probably be. I want to say optimal. I'm not sure. Uh, I think he's optimal or literally right under, right? Because we we have a lot of good units. And it all depends on how you want to build it, because the thing is, the content in here is not that, that hard. So, if you have a handful of Blazing Fest units, you're probably beating stuff anyways. And then here we got the Ultimate Jutsu. Oh, sorry, the, the first Jutsu was 5.5 times attack and skill to one enemy. 60% chance of reducing their attack for three turns. Knocks them back. <laughs> and that's a funny looking Jutsu, okay. Uh, the Ultimate was 8 Chakra, 11.5 times attack. To one enemy, 60% chance of mobilization for two turns knocks him back. And his dupe ability is pretty interesting. Right? His first dupe ability is boost damage to body enemies by 20%. So it's the first one we've seen, so I'm assuming there's going to be all the other ones as well that uh, we're missing. But uh, it's the first time we've seen this uh, ability, unless I'm blind and missed it on one of the other units. So. You know, he's already effective against body, now he's doing 20% extra. My question is that, since I don't have him yet, where does the 20% apply? Because there is an elemental bonus, you know, for attacking body, so he's doing an extra 50% damage to begin with. I want to know if that this happens before or after that. So, or if it just like, I don't know, uh, hard to ex explain. Uh, I might do a little testing on him if I pull the character or not next week. Uh, other dupe abilities, boost attack reduction by 20%, prolongs duration of status effects by one turn, boosts immobilization rate by 20%, prolongs duration of status effects by one turn. So at the end of the day, he has 80% attack reduction uh, for five turns and 80% immobilization for four turns. It is single target, so it's no Rinnegan Sasuke nuts level, but uh, for a off Blazing Fest unit, he's one of the better characters. You know, like, he's not like... KCM Minato level or anything, but uh, he's definitely up there, you know. This is one of the better banners. Uh, the fact that it's 30 for a multi summon, uh, you know, regardless of you trying to go for him specifically, uh, 30 pearls for a multi summon is definitely not bad. And you know, Blazing Fest already happened at this point, so you might have some extra pearls if you pulled what you wanted early. And yeah, the last thing is before I end off the video is the limit breaks. So, Let's see if I can show it from here. If not, is uh, four units are Sage Monarito, a uh, fourth Rikage, Mei, and Konohamaru. Maybe it's under here. Oh yes, there's new story on both versions of the game. Okay, you know these are the four units, but the stats don't show, so I'll just tell you. Uh, Naruto's is 19, uh, 22, and 1898. Actually, you know, it might just be easier if I do this. And this is going to be courtesy of the Reddit. So rather than... Here we go. And... Yeah. So if we take a look at this... I don't know how to zoom. Oh well, uh, I think this is legible enough. This makes me sad that I can't zoom. Okay. But, yes. So, 19. Actually, it might just be easier if I do this. Hey, hey, we're living the dream. Okay. So there you go. Alright. Those are it. Sage Monarito, those are his stats, you know, take a look at them. They're pretty significant bumps, you know, in in stats. And the biggest thing is that it's not even for like the normal PvE that I care about these, it's for PvP, because whenever this new batch of limit breaks, it changes up PvP a good amount, right? When like Karin got her limit break, Yamato got his limit break, all of a sudden, you know, uh, you see those two quite often. 
So I always like seeing new limit breaks in PvP because it kind of just like, you know, these are all units that you might have just picked up randomly when trying to summon on Blazing Fest for, and you, you might not even have gone for these units, right? Uh, Sage Monarto could be the exception because during Anniversary you could have picked them up for free. Uh, I mean, with the coins. But yeah. So I always like seeing these in PvP. Well, this video's gone on long enough. Thank you guys for watching, and as a final notice, if you guys are preparing to pull, uh, please uh, check out Limit Breaker Stones in the link down below. We are, you know, doing Dokkan, Blazing, other games as well. So I'll be picking up my stones to summon, and hope you guys enjoy the videos coming up. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.